Welcome to your MAP Update Training, Region 1B, Reporting Non-Counseling Activity. Topics for this training include, what is SHIP Tools? Documentation for non-counseling activities for SHIP Tools. How to log information on the Activity tab. And documentation expectations. SHIP Tools is MAP's electronic client documentation database. SHIP Tools hosts 10 tabs for reporting, documentation, and resources. The 10 tabs are as follows. The Home tab is the home page of SHIP Tools and has captured current news links listed there. The Learning tab hosts all learning modules available for you to view or that you've already completed. The Library tab hosts supporting documents, trainings, and resources available to all MAP team members. The ORS tab is the tab that has any and all tests that you are required to complete. The Clients tab is the tab where you are required to document any and all MAP counseling that is completed with a MAP beneficiary. The Events tab shows you the events that you were a part of and given outreach credit for. This coincides with the PAM forms that your site coordinator submits during the grant year. The Training tab shows you any upcoming initial training dates and locations for the year. The Reports tab is where you can view your reports on how much counseling that you've completed and more. The Team tab shows you your information within the MAP team. And the Activities tab, which is where you need to log any of your non-counseling activities. Let's take a deeper look into the Activity tab and what that means for you in terms of documentation. Why record activities? We need to be able to represent entirely what happens within our MAP time spent. To do so, we need to record it so it can be seen by our funders. This will allow the funders to see all of what goes into counseling our beneficiaries at the ground level. This includes documentation of time and more. You spend a lot of time helping our community and we wanna show that. How to add activities. First, you must click onto the Activities tab to view the Activities page of SHIP Tools. Once you're there, if you are needing to add a new entry, click on Add New Log Entry button. It's circled in yellow in the image on the slide. Once you've clicked on Add New Log Entry, be sure to confirm that all the log entry information, including organization, team member name, start date, and end date are correct and accurate. If you need to add an activity for a past date, be sure to edit it in the Start and End Date section. Next, be sure to select the activity type. As a counselor, you will primarily use the Other button. However, should you be entering data for another counselor, you'll want to select Administrative Support. Once your activity is selected, enter the hour and minutes spent on that activity. Then enter any notes in the Notes section. Enter the explanation of the activity when you select Other into the Notes section above. You'll see the documentation expectations as a counselor on the next slide. Documentation Activity Types When helping document client contact forms for a fellow team member, please select the Administrative Support box and log your time. Activities that need to be documented in the notes section when selecting other include travel to and from a team meeting, gathering of materials for events separate from the event date, travel to and from a training session, professional development from reading, research, and more. When adding to the notes section, add your activity description as a quick word or two, an example, travel or research. No need to specify the time spent for each item in the notes section. Also, any trainings that you attend, let your site coordinator know so it can be recorded as an update training. This includes trainings from NCLEAR, Justice in Aging, CMS, and more. If you have any questions or concerns, reach out to your site coordinator. Their information is listed on the slide.